Hello, George. This is Al. Uh, this is the uh, this is a video I'm making for you of your tool. And uh, as some of the videos may have mentioned, um, when the water cooled bikes came out in 15 or 14 and a half, the vendor made a change um, in the way the lock cylinders went into the luggage. <clears throat> because for years they went in uh, with the lock wafer, which is this guy right here, facing at the 12 o'clock position, and we pulled down on it. And after that, uh, they put the locks in upside down. And the S1000XR is kind of a, uh, a different, different breed. Uh, and again, I've only had one or two bikes of one or two, one or two of those bikes, um, need the tool just because of, uh, popularity. It's only been out a little while, so there's not many use cases out there. And that's, that's where most of my business is, is people buying used luggage and wanting to rekey it. So forgive me for being a little fuzzy, but, uh, under normal circumstances, if the case is off the bike, um, we're going to go in normally like this, work the left side, and this is not the ideal location to film this, but it's uh, going to rain out there. So I'm actually a little too close, zoomed in a little too close. Uh, the top of the keyway or of the lock cylinder all the way to the very end. And then I twist it to about the one o'clock position and then I drag it back till you feel the tooth of the tool go into a, a channel or a doorway, hold it there. And then I tell people to pull down on the tool, but I actually pivot it. I'll show you that when I can, but you see the lock wafer disappear? That's what happens is uh, the lock wafer gets pulled down and that releases the lock cylinder from the luggage. And you don't have to do any pulling really, um, even though it's not technically spring loaded, for some reason, when this thing releases, for want of a better term, it literally jumps out of the luggage. Now, in, again, in my instructions, I tell people to, to twist and then pull down on the tool, to pull down straight down, the whole tool like that. But in order to keep things simple, that's what I do. But, but what I do, and I've been doing this since 1998 or 99, um, I kind of lock it in at the top. I do the twist, I do the pull out, twist, and then I guess I pivot. I use the, the top portion as the pivot point. And I pivot down on the tool at the tip of it. And um, it's a feel thing. I've done this for this many years, and sometimes I can do it in five seconds. Sometimes it takes me an hour. So don't get frustrated. If you get to the point where you're frustrated, stop and take a break. And the way to tell if you're getting frustrated is if you start to bend the tool, because that means you're putting too much pressure on it. See, like I did it in front of the camera a few times just a minute ago, and now I can't do it at all. So it's part luck, part feel. All the way in, twist to about one o'clock. Bring it back. And you'll see the other wafers jumping around as I do this. That doesn't really mean anything, so... We're going to concentrate on the very end wafer, which is the lock wafer. Is 
there. Okay, so in your case, um, I've had guys accidentally lock the key inside the case, their only key, and in that case, and, and you may be in this situation if the if the case is on the bike, uh, you're going to have to flip the case over and work with the painted side on your tabletop or workbench, okay? Because that's the way it wants to come out. Um, or, and, and if that's the case, if the case is off the bike, flip the case over and work with the painted side down, which is easiest. I've also had some people, like I say, lock the key in the case and they have to work upside down, which is harder to do. So right now, where we, I flip the lock cylinder upside down. And so obviously the tool is upside down. Is So now we're working on the right side because everything is inverted. And so now we t put it in a, at the bottom of the lock cylinder keyway. And I twist it. Um, I guess I still twist it clockwise. And then we need to go up and set it down. to get the lock wafer to go up. See, just like that. So I believe your case is off the bike. So you're fine. Just turn the case upside down. Um, and, and I hate to say this because it, it's, it's kind of a, uh, I don't know what year your bike is, if it's a, a 2021 or 22, whatever, but we don't know when the case was made. So I am 90% sure you're going to have to work on it with the case upside down. Uh, if it was an RT or a GS, uh, where it's, there was a mid-year change, then I tell people they have to try it both ways. Uh, regular position with the painted side up, and then flip it over and try inverted. But in your case, I'm 90% sure you're going to have to work with the case upside down. So uh, flip it over. And uh, and then you're still in the correct orientation. Uh, in, twist it to 1 o'clock, pull it out. And, and there is a measurement. I think it's 23 and a half millimeters from the tip of the tool to the correct depth. But really, if you play with it long enough before you uh, attempt it, you can feel that first notch. It's very, it's a very definite uh, notch it goes into. Anyway, that's your specific video for the S1000XR. And uh, I don't know what the issue is, but I know we'll figure it out. Um, and if I were you, I would put a little Sharpie mark on the lock cylinder before you start so that you remember which end was up. Uh, if you think it's in upside down, which I, I don't think it can go in both ways. But again, I'm not familiar with that bike enough to be definite. So put a little Sharpie mark at the top, no matter which way the top is, so that when you put it back in, uh, what we'll do is we'll verify that it's keyed correctly to make sure these are all super flush and, and they have to be absolutely flush, not one poking out a little bit, but they have to be absolutely flush. And I can help you with that also. And then, so we don't put it back in the same way, turn it over 180 degrees and attempt to put it in so that your Sharpie mark is now at the bottom and see if it locks in. And if it does, then, then please let me know because then we both learned something um, and see how the case works. But uh, this is a head scratcher for me because the bike is, to me, so new and because of the symptom that you're having. Anyway, I'll put this on YouTube and send you the link. Good luck.